कमेन सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर मॉर्निंग प्लीज हैव अ सीट गुड मॉर्निंग दर्शन मॉर्निंग सर हाउ आर यू सर आई एम फाइन ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कंग्रेचुलेशंस फॉर क्वालिफाइंग द रिटर्न एग्जाम थैंक यू सर सो हाउ आर यू फीलिंग सर आई एम फीलिंग वेरी गुड राइट नाउ यू फीलिंग गुड यस सर सो आर यू नर्वस फॉर द इंटरव्यू यस सर आई एम लिटिल बिट नर्वस बिकॉज दिस इज माय फर्स्ट टाइम यहां के गिविंग एन इंटरव्यू ओके चलिए आपकी नर्वसनेस थोड़ी कम करते हैं टेल मी समथिंग इंटरेस्टिंग अबाउट योरसेल्फ Sir, my name is Darshil Nyok, and my hometown is in the Lakhimpur district of Assam. And my goal is to become an officer in the Indian Army. And my hobbies is to play football. And my family comprises of four members, including me. My father, uh, his name is Jubin Raj Nyok, and he's an uh, IT admin currently working at Accenture. My mother's name is Suman Nyok, and she's an housewife. and my younger sister's name is naisha nyok and she is current and is and she is uh, currently studying in class 1 and that's all about me sir okay what are your hobbies sir my hobbies is to play football okay uh, can you tell me the meaning of your name and can you justify that how that name is related to your personality sir the meaning of my name uh, it means uh, good looking and and i relate that as i think a person i uh, find myself attractive okay so you feel that you are a good looking person yes sir okay very good okay darshil uh, you are from assam yes sir also have you heard about uh, assam rifles yes sir assam rifles uh, is a central paramilitary force but it was formed to counter the insurgencies in the so some indian areas How many paramilitary forces are there in India? Sir, sir, there is the IDBP, Indo Tibetan Border Police, and the BSF Border Security Force, and so I could only recall those two. Okay. So, what is the most famous festival of Assam? The most famous festival in Assam is mm-hmm. the Bihu Festival. And why it is celebrated? Sir, it's basically a harvest festival. and is celebrated due to some uh, agricultural purposes okay are there any national parks in assam yes, sir there are some national parks in assam like the kajiranga national park mm-hmm. which is also a unesco world heritage site okay and then you have the manas national park and then you have o- orang national park uh, are they dedicated to some specific species sir the manas is dedicated towards the uh, tiger tiger and the um, orang is towards birds I mm-hmm. think and kajiranga kajiranga is for the uh, one horn rhinoceros so can you tell me some uh, places in assam uh, where you want me to visit sir so okay sir sir the first place that i would like to i like you to visit which is also my favorite one is the agnigarh in tezpur okay and the second place is the mazuri river island mm. which is also the largest river island in the world The third place is the Guwahati Planetarium, which is for uh, space related. And the fourth place is the uh, Kajiranga National Park, as I said earlier. Okay, so you mentioned Agnigarh. Yes, What sir. is so special about that place? So, so because so there's a story related to it, okay. and it was a place where I think Lord Vishnu and Lord Shiva once fought mm-hmm. in the medieval time, I think, and 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 right now if you visit there you can you can see a w- wonderful view of the bamaputra river along with the uh, tezpur city from a height which uh, looks very good you mentioned majuli river island yes sir and you said it is a largest, largest river island yes sir so it is uh, on which river sir it's on bamaputra river bamaputra bamaputra river yes sir uh, can you tell me uh, some tributaries of bamaputra rivers so uh, like so you have that uh, dikrong dikrong river okay and then you have the subansari subansari yes i can only uh, recall those two mm, dihang dibang yes sir okay the shil uh, please tell me about um, the difference between kinetic energy and potential energy so the 
energy possessed uh, possessed by a body due to its motion is is known as the kinetic energy mm -hmm. and the uh, energy possessed by a body due to its own position is the potential energy okay and we see in night sky the star yes, are twinkling yes, sir. what is the reason behind the twinkling of a star so it's because uh, due to the phenomenon of refraction what is refraction so, so it, it's basically the uh, reflect uh, bending of light when light comes from a, another medium and it goes to another medium and in the way it bends so that causes the twinkling of a star yeah. have you heard about transpiration respiration etc these terms sorry yes sir i i had read about them but uh, right now i can't uh, recall those okay then you must have heard about precipitation yes sir that too sir i can't recall right now okay, okay. so uh, can you tell me that how many friends do you have i want you to name those friends and among those friends who is your best friend what qualities you like in that particular best friend and what one thing which you want to change in him and then afterwards tell me about your teachers how many teachers do you have in your school and who is your best teacher and why do you admire your best teacher sir sir right now i have around 15 to 20 friends and my best can you name around seven friends sir seven sir first is uh, dipmani uh, khaida rimon uh, firankit oren and rupjyoti and pavitra okay so among these friends who is the best friend? so my best friend is uh, dipmani because he is very supportive friend and he was the he, he, he was that friend that at uh, encouraged me to play football okay so what one thing which you don't like in him and which you want to change in him sir sir i don't think uh, there are there are any qualities in my friend that i i don't like sir okay okay uh, so who is the best teacher among those teachers and uh, why do you admire that particular teacher what qualities do you like him so the uh, the teacher that i i like the most of them is my bhaskar sir and he teaches us maths and and he teaches us maths in a very uh, good way that uh, the older students can get a grasp of the concept and 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 older students uh, can ask doubts from bhaskar sir freely and he also encourages encourages them to study properly and that's the reason so is there any teacher you don't like no sir there, sir there is none i like all of them okay football is your hobby yes sir uh, which team you follow in football sir you, team yeah which team you like the most or sir any... sir currently i like the indian football team and the uh, argentinian football team tell me some players of indian football team sir you have sunil chhetri mm -hmm. and sir sir it nayar and argentinas any football player sir you have uh, rionel messi mm -hmm. uh di mari he was a striker sir that that's all what position you hold in football i prefer to play in the midfield Okay. Okay. Uh, do you know who is Cristiano Ronaldo? Yes, sir, I do. He is. Okay, which, which country does he belong to? Sir, he belongs to Portugal. Portugal. Yes, sir. What is its capital? Its capital is uh, Lisbon. Lisbon. Recently, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo was in controversy uh, because of some beverages. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate that controversy? What happened? So, sir, sir, I am not aware of the controversy news related to him. So it was related. I am giving you a hint. It was related to Coca Cola. Sir, who? Coca Cola drink. Sir, yes, sir. So I think it was during the Euro Cup when uh, he was being interviewed. Okay. He had uh, he had two Coca Cola bottles on his desk, and he put it away and uh, asked asked his personal assistant for water bottles in, instead of those Coca Colas. Okay, according to you, Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo. According to you, who is the best uh, footballer and why? Well, sir, I like uh, uh, the playing style of Lionel Messi. 
uh, more than Christian and Renal, sir. Okay. And what are your opinions about that controversy uh, about Coca Cola? Uh, do you like to drink that kind of beverage? Yes, sir, sir, when you are with some friends, that then you you would obviously take some, mm. and, and but still it's bad for our health. Uh, what is the most uh, likable thing about maths? You said now you have a favorite teacher yes, who sir. teaches mathematics. Yes, sir. So what is the topic you like the most in maths or what is that thing you are derived more from maths? I said, uh, I said the math is very interesting as uh, it's, it's like a puzzle you need to s solve those and you get some satisfaction at the end when you solve certain questions and from all the, uh, all the syllabus I my favorite topic is the algebra and the menstruation part. Okay, can you tell me the difference between SI and CI, simple interest and compound? What is the major difference between these two? So the simple interest, uh, simple interest uh, has a has a, has a, has a, always has a fixed principle, but the principle in the compound interest changes changes every year. So that's the main difference. Sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Is, is there any uh, real life application of algebra? Can you give some example about the real life application of algebra or any? Yes. Sir, so some real life applications would be the like uh, building a bridge for you need some calculations mm -hmm. like for the engineers that they how, how would they build the bridge, the mensurations and the calculations that and those need to be done and so engineering and construction purposes yes, any other significance okay which one simple interest or compound interest which one is practically applicable so in does banks? the compound interest is uh, practicable normally okay compound interest is practical yes sir okay not simple interest it is not applied anywhere yes it not apply anywhere sir sure 100% yes sir Achha, one more thing I want to ask from you, as you have mentioned, among, as, as Deepak sir has asked you about uh, the five places which you want him to visit in Assam and you have told about a planetarium mm. which is related to space. Do you have any hobby related to space, related to astronomy? Can you tell me how to locate a pole star? Have you ever been observed? Have you, have you ever been seen the North Star? Sir, sir, sir I have seen uh the night sky in some uh, some days, but I'm, I'm not sure how to look at the pole star exactly. Have you ever observed pole star? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. How how you locate it? Yes, sir, I don't know how to locate it, but... Uh, so how have you observed it when you don't know how to locate it? Yes, sir, my... Because there are, there are millions of stars in the night sky. How you will locate a pole star particularly? Yes, sir, I don't know the process, but my... Teacher had shown me too that that is the pole star, and that's how I knew it. So you haven't asked from your teacher that how to locate it. Yes, sir. Sir, he had explained me, but uh, right now I can't remember it. Sir, he has told you, but you are not able to remember it. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, as you belong to Assam, I want to ask one very important question. If you are aware of this fact, who is the ADS to the president at this moment of time? And what is the meaning of ADS? Sir, ADS means the uh, aide de camp, and it is like a personal assistant to, uh, to a person of higher rank, especially the especially the military persons. And the uh, current ADC AD, ADS is Major Avinash Chetri from Assam. ADC. Yes, sir. Avinash. Chetri. Avinash Chetri. Which rank? Uh, he's uh, he's a major. He's a major. Yes. Sir. Okay. Very good. So you want to say that he is a personal assistant to the president? Yes, sir. So not, uh, not more like he is like the head of the security for the president. Head of the security? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Okay, if suppose I am giving you a hypothetical situation. Okay. If uh, you will not qualify the medical examination of RMC, suppose if you will become medically unfit, okay. what you will do next? Yes, sir. Then I will... Uh, Try to the improve my medical condition for what I have been re rejected, and then I would try for the RMS and scenic schools. 
Okay. Suppose if if there is some serious disease that is not curable, and you have come to know that you are not fit for the armed forces, you cannot join it. You cannot improve or you cannot cure that problem. Then what you will do in that condition? So then in that condition, then uh, I would make my career in football. You will make your career in football? Yes sir. Very good. Okay, as you have mentioned that you want to join army. Yes sir. Can you tell me what is the role of army in peace time? Sir, actually sir, there is no peace time for the army as they are uh, deployed on the border for 24 by 7. And 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 the peace time that you are talking about, uh, on, uh, and especially in that time, they, they, they also patrol around the borders and they they don't uh, rest, uh, they don't rest even much. Okay, so I want to say that there is no peace time for for the army. Yes, sir. Do, they do a lot of exercise, patrolling and all. Yes, the sir. The borders, you want to say. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, Dashil, uh, can you tell me what is the biggest achievement of your life? So my biggest achievement of my life as of now is that I have qualified the written examination of RMC. Okay, very good. Okay, apart from academics, do you have any other achievement also in some extracurricular activities? So I had played in some uh, district level matches in my my district Lakhimpur, but my team was not able to uh, win those, but still I had gained a lot of experience. So that's also my achievement in the uh, area apart from academics. Very good. Dashil, as you qualified the written examination, yes. so have you prepared by yourself or you have taken coaching for that examination and if you have taken coaching then from which coaching institute or the campus you are uh, taking that thing and tell me the routine of your preparation the whole time when you prepare for this examination, what is the routine you followed? Well, sir, yes sir, I had to coaching for the examination and I had two coaching from Defense Officers Academy that is situated in Dehadun Tarakan and it's a it's a very uh, good academy very good coaching center and how do you find out about that coaching? well someone had uh, re recommended it to my father and my, f my father told me to uh, uh, check the uh, so check the coaching whether it's, it's whether it's good or bad and and after watching some of its videos i found that it was a very great uh, coaching for cracking the rmc exam so i went there and the routine was uh, routine was great i uh, every day i used to wake up at five o'clock and then hours uh, and then so i would take the online classes and after that uh, in our campus, there there is a ground, and and where we do some physical activities with my friends every day, to to cope up with the physical fitness uh, as well as with the with the academics. And after after you have the usual routine like take a bath, breakfast, etc. And the classes would start from that from 10 a.m. onwards. 6 a.m. Uh, in which every subject can be targeted like English, Maths and GK a along with some personality sessions that improves your personality and and after it's a great academy and I personally think that, that the teacher-student ratio in that academy is very good and I'm sure that one would not find any other place with such kind of ratio. So you are residing in the hostel of that academy, no? Yes, sir. I was. So there is also. Yes, sir. There is a hostel too. In the... Okay. Okay. Uh, can you tell me uh, what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? And if you have any weakness, so what are you doing to overcome that? So my uh, strengths are that I, I obey obey the orders of my superiors, and I am very punctual. And the weakness that I think I have, have is that I'm not much fluent in the in my English speaking, and and I'm currently uh, reading some books for that. What kind of books are you reading? Sir, so, so right now I'm uh, I'm reading 
Dr. APJ Abdurrahman's biography that is the wings of fire right now. Very good. Okay, uh, one observation based question I'm asking. Okay, okay can you calculate the volume of this room? First, tell me what is what will be the length of this room? Sir, 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 this room uh, looks and like a cube. And tell me meters. Okay. Sir, this uh, room looks like a cube. So the all the dimensions would be equal. And Are you sure? Yes, sir. Cube or cuboid? Sir, sir, it's cube. Cube, okay. Yes, sir, sir, and approximately okay. it so would be three meters. Okay. So you want to make your calculations easy. That's why it's a cube. Yes, <laughs> Okay. Tell me the length. So okay. the so the approximate uh, length would be three meters. So the vol uh, volume will be 27 meter cube. Okay, so all the dimensions will be 3 meters only. Yes. So the volume will be? Uh, 27 meter cube. Okay, and what, what, what will be its total surface area? Total surface area would be uh, 3, 54 meter square. And what will be the area of 4 walls? So 4 walls, uh, 36 meter square. Sure? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Dashil, tell me something about APJ Abdul Kalam and why are you reading his biography right now? Sir, APJ Abdul Kalam uh, uh, was a very uh, great man uh, during the 1900s and he was a former president as 1900 well as... 1900 or 1990s? Sir, 1990s, sorry. Why is uh, so relevant in that time period? Sir, what because... Sir, sir, because... Uh, so he had worked in the uh, missile sector for India, mm -hmm. in which he had uh, made m many such missiles for Is India. Is there any name associated with Abdul Kalam that resembles with missiles? Sir, you have the Prithvi. Hmm. Prithvi. We call Abdul Kalam something. Sir, sir, uh, sir we, we also know them uh, by the nickname as the Missile Man of India. Cause what is the title of his biography or autobiography? Sir, it, uh, so it's the wings of fire. What is the first missile that India has developed under the leadership of Abdul Kalam? Sir, I think it was Akash. Akash? Yes, sir. Uh, wings of fire is the autobiography of Abdul Kalam. Yes, sir. Can you derive the name of missile from that title? Wings of fire. There are five missiles. Yes, huh? sir. Sir, Agni. Have you heard about Agni? Sir has given us a hint also, na? Yes, sir. Yes, wings sir. of fire. Sir, Agni missile. Uh, sir, uh, I already told you the answer now. One more question about Abdul Kalam. Uh, what is the most inspiring moment in Abdul Kalam's life which uh, you also take some inspiration from? Have you heard the all uh, biography or you are just starting sir, the reading of that? The starting canvas. Okay, okay. So, Abdul Kalam is basically a scientist. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. He's a scientist. What is his uh, specification or expertise? Sir, he had uh, specifications in the aeronautics department. Mm -hmm. And so that's his specialty. So, missile technology can also be used in uh, civilian purposes as well? Yes, sir, it can. Uh, what is the uh, civilian institute that uses that kind of technology in India? Sir, civilian institute. Mm -hmm. So, like the UF ISRO. 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 What is the full form of ISRO? Uh, Indian Space Research, uh, Research Organization. And who is the director of ISRO right now? So right now it's uh, Samir V. Sa Samir V. Samir V. Yes, sir. Okay. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay, Dashil, uh, is there any geographical feature by the name of APJ Abdul Kalam? Yes, there is. Uh, so there is a uh, island named after him, which is also a missile launching site. And the name of the island is uh, Abdul Kalam Island, and 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 its previous name was Viral Island. And Where it, is, it is located. It's located in the uh, in the state of Odisha, mm -hmm. and to be precise, uh, it, it is located near uh, the off coast of a town named Chandrapur in Odisha. Chandrapur or Chandipur? So I say it was Chandipur. Uh, is there any satellite launching center uh, that you can name? So, so one is the Sri Harikota Satellite Launching Center. In Where it is located? So it's in Andhra Pradesh. Is there any lake nearby that launching center? So there is one lake, uh, Kul uh, Kalikat Lake uh, near that. Kalikat or Pulikat? So, sorry sir, Pulikat Lake near sure? it. Sure? Yes sir. Which is the largest saltwater lake in India? 
So the largest saltwater lake in India is Chilka Lake, uh, which is in Odisha. Okay. One more geography question I'm asking. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what is the significance of Siachen Glacier? First, tell me where is the Siachen Glacier located? In which range? So Siachen uh, Glacier is located in the Karakoram range. So the significance of the Siachen Glacier is that it uh, holds a position of very high strategic importance for the Indian Army. As, as from that position, the Indian Army can monitor the troops of the Chinese uh, uh, troops, of, troops of China and Pakistan. Okay, and, and also a fact that uh, and then to sustain the, the Indian Army troops in the Siachen Glacier, the Indian government spends around 4 crores each day to sustain their troops in Siachen Glacier. Very good. Okay, uh, one more thing you have mentioned as uh, Deepak sir has asked you about the paramilitary forces. Yes sir. Okay, so can you name the full form of those paramilitary forces and their function, basically which area they are guarding, which border areas basically they are guarding. So the can you name any four, any four paramilitary forces and their region of guard? The first is the BSF, uh, it is the border security force and it, and it, uh, and it is deployed in the areas areas that are bordering Bangladesh and and Pakistan. Okay. The second is the ITBP, that is the Indo-Tibetan Border Police. And as the name suggests, I, it is deployed in the borders, that is in the Indo-Pak region. Indo? I, Indo-China region, sorry. Okay. And the third one is the Assam Rifles, that is uh, deployed in the northeastern sector not in the sector. And uh, fourth one is the SSB, that is a Sasastra Simawal, which is deployed in the area of India and Nepal border. Okay, one last question from my side. Okay. Uh, CISF and CRPF, yes, tell me their functions also. The CIFF, uh, CISF stands for Central in in Industrial Security Force, and it is deployed on the industrial areas and the government places, such as the uh, IGI airport at Delhi and the Delhi Metro and certain places like that. And the CRPF stands for the Central Reserve Police Force. And it is uh, and it is deployed for the internal security of of the state. Okay. Okay, Rashid, all the best. Thank you, sir. Okay. Hope you qualify this interview. Thank you, sir. Take care. All the best. Thank you, sir.